Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited that you're here because in this video, we're talking about some of my favorite and most used Amazon finds. Welcome back you guys and welcome to everyone who's new here. My name is Ashley Park, welcome to Park Avenue and I have tons of fashion content for you to check out. But in this video, I'm doing something a little bit different. I am gonna talk to you guys about some of my favorite Amazon products, some of my most used Amazon products. They've been very useful in my life, so I wanted to share them with you guys. Now, they're in no particular order. They're just really good stuff that I just want to talk to you guys about. So I'm gonna start with the first thing, and it's because I do get a lot of questions and um, interest about my hair. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, then you've kind of seen the change in my hair. Back in March, when everything was shut down, I stopped straightening my hair and I went curly. I just started wearing my natural curls. And it's been a journey and I'm still on a journey because I'm still figuring out like what products work for me. But when I find something that works, I stick with it, at least for now. But I think this product that I'm gonna show you guys right now is something that I'm gonna have, honestly, forever. And I'm also gonna get other variations of it. So it's this. This is a snappy hair clip or hair ties. It's, it's called a snappy and it's a hair tie. But what's cool about it is that they come in like a pack of five. I'm gonna have everything linked in the description box and you guys can follow my Amazon storefront because as I find things that I like and I use, I um, just put it in my storefront. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a typical hair tie. But the cool thing about it is that it has this little snappy piece, like literally like a button, but it's a really strong button. It's like once it's closed, it's really on there. So you gotta kind of put a little bit of force into it to get it open, but nothing crazy. And I like that they can snap together. So they all come like individual, like little hair, hair bands or like little hair scrunchy ties or whatever, but you can connect them with each other to make it as long as you need. And the cool thing about that is you, if you're a natural hair girl or if you have thick hair or a lot of hair or whatever the case is, it's really cool to be able to put these together so you don't have to figure out how to wrap it around your hair multiple times. I literally can like put this around here like that. I'm just gonna show you guys like really quickly. But this hot honestly got me through like all the times when I was trying to figure out what to do with my hair when I first started wearing it curly and I was just going to high puff was like literally my go-to. I would just snap these bad boys together and crisscross it right here. And just pull it up. Pull it up in the back as well. Obviously you'll be doing this in the mirror. <laughs> so it'll be a lot more seamless and a lot more comfortable, but I just pull it up where I want the high puff to be, crisscross them. And just one time and pull it like a zipper and snap it in the back. Did you guys hear the snap? That was me snapping it. And literally, bam, high puff in two seconds. And it looks super cute. So there you go, you had a, a really cute high puff. I can also wear them, wear like a low puff if I wanted to. I could wear it as a headband. And I didn't have to figure out how to smooth all my hair up and get it really tight and then figure out how to wrap it multiple times. I think this is freaking genius. I love these. I'm obsessed with them. And this is the, honestly the first time I've ever had a pack of like hair ties and I've made sure to keep track of every single one of them. I haven't lost one and that's a record for me. You guys already know, I'm sure it happens to everybody. You buy a pack of hair ties and then you lose one here, you lend one to a friend, you drop one over here, it's under the bed, you don't even know what's going on. I keep track of these. I love these and I'm gonna get, they even come like a thicker version of them. I'll link those in the description box as well for you guys to check them out or I'll put them in my Amazon storefront like I said. But I really love these. And another cool thing about these is I'm gonna unsnap it and make it into a headband. Okay, so another cool thing is because I have them like all together like this, like these two, you can like, you can snap three, four, five. You can get different colors. If you have like bought them for your daughter or something or a friend who likes colorful things. Or if you want to snap a couple colors together, you can do that. I just went with the black because I kind of wanted to disappear. But they come in like, I think chocolate brown as well. Pink, um, I saw blue. And anyway, you can wear it as a headband as well. So you can either put it this way and go backwards. But I like to just do like this. Go behind my head. And then make sure all your hair is like out of it. Hopefully you guys can see that, but these are the two pieces and then you just like snap that. Did you hear that? And then bam, got yourself a cute little headband, hold your hair back. 
and you can push it back a little bit more just to keep your hair out of your face or you know do something cute whatever it is you want to do I think these are really handy and worth every penny highly recommend and like I said before I saw that there's another version that I want to get my hands on that is a little bit thicker and a little bit wider so it's just all a matter of personal preference but highly recommend these and if I forgot to mention it, it's by the brand Swirly Curly. And this is a black owned business. I actually follow her YouTube channel as well. But I love this. I think it's freaking genius. Absolutely love this. It was such a lifesaver, especially being new to the whole natural hair community. I watched tons of videos and I still watch tons of videos just to get other, like information. Because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I just never imagined that I was gonna really just like, like my curls enough to wear them out. So to find products like this that makes life easy, I love it. So next up I have a pair of sunglasses. These are really cool, they're super inexpensive. They're 15 bucks and they have a nice wide lens. I like these because they have the black and they have a little brown in there. And I have a love-hate relationship with like tortoise. Um, I, I always find that I look so cute on other people and I really like it. But then when I wear it on myself, like a full tortoise um, pair of shades, I don't know, I don't always love it, but these are nice and big. They have just like a hint of the tortoise, but they're mostly black. And I really like these, what do you guys think? What I love about these is that they look super expensive without actually being expensive. So for 15 bucks, you can get a couple pair, take them on a vacation or to the park or wherever it is you go. And you're, you know, like when you do like activities or if you are on vacation or you go to the beach or to the pool or whatever it is, I like to take an inexpensive pair of sunglasses because you never know what could happen. They could fall, drop, break. And I've had that happen on vacation or you lose them. So it's nice to have that high-end look without the high-end price tag, you know, for reasons like that. But if you want to keep a pair of these in your car so you don't have to worry about them, I think it's a great idea. Absolutely recommend these. And they had some other colors as well, but I think this one is really, really cute. And um, like also solid black would be great as well. Really cute, I love these. All right, so next up, I'm gonna talk to you guys about some tea. I know this is a little bit um, of a mixed bag we got here, but you know, that's what Amazon is all about. This is by Golden Moon Tea, and it's oolong tea, and it has a really strong coconut smell and like aromatic. So if you love coconut, you're gonna love this, and I'm a huge coconut lover. And it's really nice to find something that smells really sweet, and it gives you that like desserty kind of cozy feeling, but it's no sugar. This tastes really good with just, you know, just steeping the tea. It's a loose leaf tea, so you do have to have a, like a tea diffuser to be able to use it. Um, and you just put it in the diffuser and then sit it in your cup of hot water. But I really like this because it does give me that sweet feeling of having something nice, but I'm not having the sugar. But if you wanted to, you could add sugar or honey or however you like to take your tea. Usually I drink like Earl Grey when I wanna have a cup of tea or English breakfast tea, but I do like to drink it with sugar and cream and all that. So to just cut back, I think this is a good option if you want that sweet aromatic smell. It actually doesn't taste sweet really at all to me. Um, it just tastes like tea, but I like how aromatic it is. I would highly recommend this if you're looking for something like that, if you want something to be like relaxing, a really cozy feeling, like after dinner or before bed, or even in the morning, if you're a tea drinker, then you'll definitely like this. And even if you're not a tea drinker, if you wanna cut back on coffee um, or the sugar, like I said, this is a good uh, option. Now, next up, I got a couple of pieces of jewelry. You guys have actually asked me about my ankle bracelets and I have um, like listed them in the description box, but I really want to just talk more about these because they were so inexpensive and I got them on Amazon. I think that's pretty crazy because I had an ankle bracelet that I had for years, I loved it. I think I either got it in the Bahamas or Mexico. I really don't remember where I got it from, but it was gold and I had it since I was like, I don't know, in high school or something. I'm not even sure, I had it a really long time and then one day it kind of like just fell apart. So I was really sad, but then I came across this one that has a bunch of hearts. So pretty. And I like this one to be a little bit longer. It hangs a little bit lower on my ankle. And then I have this one. It's more like a rope style. And this one is a little bit tighter on my ankle. So that way I can wear these together and it's like an arm party, but on my ankle, I really love that. I love any extra embellishment, any extra jewelry. And I've actually worn these in the shower. I don't prefer to wear them in the shower just because I did get them on Amazon. I was a little skeptical about them. Even though the company has some sort of lifetime warranty on these, if something was to happen to them, I think you can get your money back. But I haven't had any issues, so I haven't really inquired about that. But for the price, they were so inexpensive, you know, 
I probably will just get another one. And I do plan to get more because I do love ankle bracelets, but I highly recommend these if you're looking to add more fun pieces to your collection or if you wanna buy a gift for someone. These are so inexpensive and they look really nice. So check these out for sure. And make sure you guys are measuring your ankles so that we get the right sizes or the, you know, you can layer them up how you wanna see them on your ankle. Very cute. And they look so good like with all my other jewelry. Just look how it looks with my bracelets, you know? Even though they're gonna be very far apart on my body, it's nice that it just looks like expensive jewelry, I love that. Next up, I wanna show you guys my facial steamer. I love this little thing, absolutely love it. I don't know really what took me so long to actually get my hands on a facial steamer, but I've had this one for a while and I'm happy I finally got it. I actually had another one that I gave to a friend um, and then I got this one, but I like both of them. So I'll link them in the description box if you guys wanna check those out. But, have to recommend this because it has really helped me create like a spa-like experience. I love this thing. It really helps, you know, open the pores. Um, it helps your uh, serums and your creams and everything sink in a little bit better into your skin. It's really great. I use it in conjunction with face masks. I use it after exfoliating. I use it before exfoliating. I just really love this. Um, and it just feels really nice. It opens up. The steam is really great for your sinuses. Opens everything up. Um, this is a really great product to have and for something like it's not expensive at all and for something that can just give you a little bit more you know luxury a little bit more fun at home as far as like doing your skincare and giving yourself a really nice pampering routine I think it's worth it so I definitely would say check these out if you guys like facials and skincare and taking care of yourself at home it's really great especially I mean like we're probably doing a lot of things for ourselves now at home so check out the facial steamer okay so I also got a humidifier and We've been using it for a while in my house, and it has been really great. When you add moisture back into the air, it's great for your skin, it's great for your hair, it's great for um, your sinuses, if you have any breathing problems, congestion, it's really awesome for that. Like if you snore, it can help open up your like nasal passages. So that's really great. And then I've also researched that it's really good for like deactivating viruses in the air. So it's been really helpful. And I've noticed that a lot of other people and businesses have humidifiers running in like stores or like in small spaces to help with the virus and killing the virus and everything like that. So anything that is beneficial to your breathing and your overall health, why not try it? Uh, it's really great, like I said before, if you're in a stuffy place. And even if, at, if you're at work, it's really great to have in spaces where you can't like necessarily like diffuse oils um, or have scented things. It's really good to have in places when you're around other people. But the cool thing about this humidifier is that it's a cool humidifier, so it's not heating anything up or making anything like really uncomfortable. And when I think of humidity, I think of warm, hot moisture, which is uncomfortable, but this one is cooling, or I don't even feel at all to be honest, but it is it, do, it is supposed to have a cooling effect and it won't heat up your house or your room or wherever you are, so that's really nice. So I also got a diffuser, which also is really beneficial from what I read in helping with killing germs and viruses. But of course you guys should do your own research on everything because you might be allergic to something. Um, I like to use bergamot and tea tree oil in my diffusers, but you know, you, got, you guys might like lavender or you might prefer something else, or you might not like diffusing at all. So just make sure you're doing your own research to find out what works for you. I've heard that um, the essential oils have lots of benefits as far as killing viruses in the like airborne viruses overall helping with anxiety um like you know lavender that's why spas when you go to places like that have lavender um dif like diffusing into the air because it is a very calming um stress relieving scent so you should look into things like that especially at times like this when we are spending a lot more time at home we might be under more stress and it's just helpful to have those. And I do like tea tree oil, especially because I have allergies and I'm allergic to like dust and dander and I get congested, it seems like pretty easily. So it's nice to be able to have a little bit of tea tree diffusing into the air. It just really opens up my sinuses and I can almost feel it instantly. So you don't have to keep it like diffusing long. You can turn it on for like a second. I kind of turn it like on low and then, um, it diffuses into the air and I could, I could feel like, it's like refreshing, so it's really nice, really, really good. And then like I said before, you can put some bergamot in there and that kills like airborne stuff, but check that out. You guys can do like a quick Google search and see which oils will work for you and what you wanna have in your house. Now speaking of purifying the air, I also got a Dyson purifier and I really like it and I have been using it for a while now. It's also great for keeping the air clean and filtering out any impurities in the air. But what's cool about the one that I have is that it's Wi-Fi connected so you can turn it on with your phone. It has a remote, but you can also download the app and connect it to your phone and turn it on and off. I do notice a difference. Um, I have a dog 
and sometimes I feel like the apartment gets pretty dusty. So um, in between like vacuuming and things like that, I like to also have the purifier going whenever I just feel a little bit congested. It's, it happens. It seems to happen to me more at night uh, than anything. I really don't know why, but I have that running on low and um, it really just like keeps the air clean and just helps me breathe a little bit better. But it also acts as a fan. So if you want to like take it to different rooms where you don't have a fan, it does this, it purifies the air and it keeps the, air, the area nice and cool. So that's really great. I also have my eye on a couple of other Dysons. There's one for heating and cooling and then there's another one that has like a cool mist, or like a cool humidity, like the humidifier I was talking to you guys about. I think the Dyson products are really amazing, honestly. Even my vacuum. <laughs> I'll link that in the description box as well, but the Dyson vacuum, is a game changer if you don't have one. First of all, it's cordless, easy to clean. The suction is really good. It gets up so much dirt and dust that you don't even realize that's in the air. It's pretty good, like I highly recommend. Um, so I'll link it in the description box if you guys wanna check that one out as well. But I love it, I will never go back to any other kind of a vacuum again. So let me know, I'm sure a lot of you may have already have it, but let me know if you don't have it, if you're interested in checking it out because if you get it, I wanna know how it has changed your life because the Dyson is really amazing. All their products are really cool and innovative. I actually also wanna try out the diffuser, the hair diffuser, because I see a lot of naturals use it and it helps diffuse their hair a lot faster. I let my hair air dry, but um, you know, in the event that I'm in a rush, I wanna get something that's not gonna give me any heat damage, but also it's gonna get the job done quickly and efficiently. So let me know, how, do any of you have the Dyson um, hair diffuser because I'm curious to know any, if anybody else has it. Cause I don't know anybody personally that has it, but I've just watched a lot of videos about it. So I'll link that in the description box as well if you guys are interested in checking it out. But you guys can check out my Amazon storefront. I'll link everything that I was talking about also in my Amazon storefront. So if you guys want to follow me over there, you can. And that's it. Obviously I have tons of other Amazon goodies, but I felt like these were just really useful for right now, especially with everything that's going on in the world. It's just really helpful to have these things at home to make your space a lot more comfortable, a lot healthier, a lot cleaner. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if any of these stuck out to you, if you have them, or let me know your favorite Amazon products or if you have anything that you'd like to recommend because these days I'm throwing it in the bag, adding things to my cart constantly all the time and then revisiting things later. Sometimes I order, because with Amazon Prime, I'm ordering things like every freaking day. <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you guys' picks are and I will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, check me out on Instagram. I'll have the link in the description box, Pinterest. Um, you can join my Facebook group. If you guys are on Clubhouse, let's connect on Clubhouse. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.